Hello my strange and charmed ones, welcome back to my channel for another webcast tutorial. Today I want to teach you guys how to do something that I get asked about all the time, which is a few things. Number one, how to record my iPhone screen and then put it into my YouTube videos. And then also how I can take pictures of my iPhone screen and insert them into images of my iPhone so that the iPhone screen actually is legible in the image. So today I'm going to show you guys how I would do this in um, a mobile app just to make this simple for you guys because although I use Photoshop for this normally, I realize that not all of you guys have access to Photoshop, but this might be something cool that you guys can do on the go, kind of taking pictures of your iPhone screen and um, replacing the screen image for promotional things and things like that, because I know I love doing that. If you guys follow me online on social media at Miss Trenchcoat, you know that I love to use my gadget screens and replace the screens with images that um, are promotional or kind of show my social media feeds and things like that. So before we actually get to that, I do want to show you guys first how I record my iPhone screen through my laptop and then how I use my video editing, editing software to superimpose the image of my iPhone into my videos so that when I'm doing YouTube videos that are tutorials about my iPhone, that's like how I achieve that effect. I know a lot of people have been curious about this, so let's go ahead and I will show you guys how I do it. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do in order to get your iPhone screen to record via your laptop, and I'm using my MacBook Air, um, and this is a method that works for Mac computers, because I will be showing you guys how to do this with QuickTime. But the first thing you need to do is actually have your iPhone plugged into your laptop. So right now I have my iPhone plugged in um, via its, I don't know if this is called what, like a firewire cord or a lightning cable, I forget what this is called, but the iPhone's charging cord is actually plugged into my iPhone and it's plugged in to my laptop. So the first thing I need to do after that's done is I need to search for my QuickTime player. So this is actually the software that I will use to do my screen recording. So you go up to File and you go to New Movie Recording, okay? And then QuickTime is going to open up. And if you guys can see the screen right now, you can see that QuickTime opens up with my iSight camera, uh, my FaceTime camera on my laptop. But if I go down to where the little record button is, and I hit this little arrow um, pointing downwards, I can actually change the camera to my iPhone because my iPhone is connected to the computer. And I just gotta make sure my iPhone was just turned on. <laughs> so my iPhone is now, as you can see, on the screen. And as I move around my iPhone, you can actually see it on camera, right? So in order to capture my movie recording, I do have to hit that record button, okay? So right now my iPhone is recording. If I were to click on an app, I would be able to, um, you know, open things up and everything is being recorded right now. I'm not gonna open anything up just in case something sensitive pops up. Um, and I have my phone on airplane mode, so um, yeah, so that nothing interferes <laughs> um, with this video, but, as you can see, I'm recording right now. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop recording. And then I wanna go ahead and I wanna save this. And I'm gonna say this is iPhone test recording. And I'm gonna save it. And it just saves right there to my desktop. I'm sure you can change the defaults for where it saves, but that's where mine is saving. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the QuickTime player now. Um, I can just quit out of it. Okay, so now that I actually have the iPhone recording um, completed, I'm gonna go over to Final Cut, which is the application that I use to edit my videos. Um, this is called Final Cut Pro X, I think, and I guess the X stands for 10. Um, and 
So this is the software I use. I used to use iMovie and you can also do this in iMovie, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in Final Cut. And I'm gonna explain to you the sorts of things you'll be able to do in Final Cut that are different than iMovie, for, which is why I actually upgraded to Final Cut because it gives me a little bit more flexibility. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new test event. And I actually have, um, here's the iPhone test recording we did earlier. And I also have a video that I already pre-filmed, just a short little video. And next I just have to do a project, a new project, so I'll just call this test iPhone vid, okay? And all I have to do is drag my footage to my area where I'm actually working on the project. And I've got my iPhone screen footage and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna layer it on top. And so if you were to watch this right now, I don't have them lined up together, but if we're, let's go ahead and watch this real quick to see what we, see what's going on with the video. Before we get started, I'm just going to lower the volume on the iPhone test recording because there is audio with the, with the video test as well. So let's see what this looks like together. This is a test to teach you all how to record and insert your iPhone screen like this into your videos. Okay, so as you can see right now, the iPhone screen um, is active, but it's not in the best position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit transform. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit and I'm gonna move it over to the side, okay? I also have way too much footage um, right now. And that's obviously just because this is a test. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off that extra footage. And we'll go back and see how this plays out. This is a test to teach you all how to record and insert your iPhone screen like this into your videos. Okay, so that's much better. And so that's how I kind of get that picture and picture effect in there. So like I said, Final Cut is a little bit different than iMovie, um, but iMovie does give you the ability to add a single layer on top of an existing layer as a picture in picture. So that's exactly what we've done here. We've just layered on another um, video and this could have been a video, this could have been an image, um, but it's created a picture in picture effect. Now, one of the reasons I upgraded to Final Cut is because Final Cut allows you to use more than one layer on top of um, your existing, your base, your base video. So another question I get asked a lot in regards to recording your iPhone screen is a lot of people want to know how I get um, the image of an iPhone onto um, the layer of the video as well. So that is done through Final Cut because Final Cut gives me the ability to add an additional layer. So what I have to use for this is a PNG, a transparent PNG file of an iPhone. So you guys could probably Google it and you could probably find a transparent PNG file. Um, it basically is just means that there's no background to this image. And I've also additionally taken the screen out just to make it even simpler for myself. So that is the graphic that we're going to use to layer in with the video. So I'm going to just go ahead and take this iPhone and I'm going to layer the phone in with the video um, as well. And again, I'm going to transform this, just going to move it. Actually, I need to shrink this down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and shrink it. Oh. Let me go ahead and shrink this. That doesn't even fit into the little image. Okay, so I've got the graphic there and you can see that it's completely like cut out, like it's completely floating. And then I can shrink the graphic down as well, or the video I should say, as well for the actual, to be the screen. Just lining that up as best as I can. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and zoom it in to like 100% so I can check. Actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's fitting in pretty good. Okay. And I'll go back to fit. Okay, awesome. So now when we go back to the video, um, 
let's go ahead and hit play and see what it looks like. This is a test to teach you all how to record and insert your iPhone screen like this into your videos. Okay, so if you guys noticed, they weren't they weren't lined up perfectly. Ah, here we go. I just zoomed in to my timeline, made my timeline a little bit more perfect. Okay, so now I'm just checking to make sure that they're both the same length of time. Perfect. Now they look pretty good. I'll just go back out because this is a small clip. Okay, and we'll watch it one more time. This is a test to teach you all how to record and insert your iPhone screen like this into your videos. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? So that's exactly how I do it. That's the process for how I layer in my iPhone screen and a picture of an iPhone. Remember, that's a transparent PNG file. So this is the reason I, one of the reasons I ended up upgrading to Final Cut because I really wanted to be able to layer additional images um, and additional layers of video into my YouTube videos for you guys, just to kind of like enhance the quality of the videos and the experience. So if you're someone that's using um, iMovie, you're not gonna be able to add that second layer on top um, with the iPhone screen, the, uh, the actual iPhone image itself, but you will be able to get the iPhone screen in with the video picture in picture. Um, so if you guys actually go back into some of my previous videos, before I started using Final Cut, that was how I inserted the video. Um, but then after I started using Final Cut, I was actually able to kind of create a more polished or finished effect. So that is how we use Final Cut Pro to achieve the picture-in-picture -picture effect with the iPhone video screen as well as a video, um, any other video in this situation. It was a video of me talking about the iPhone screen. Okay, so now that you know how to record your iPhone screen and insert it into videos using Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you guys how I use an app called Union to overlay screen grabs of my iPhone screen into pictures of my iPhone for promotional images and graphics. The app that I use to put a picture in picture on my Instagram photos and things like that on the go is called Union, okay? so. If you guys can see my screen right now, hopefully the, the app is called Union and I'm opening that up. And Union is a great app that actually allows you to kind of create like masking effects um, through your iPhone. Masking is normally something I would be able to do with Photoshop, but Photoshop, again, it's a little bit complicated. And why use Photoshop when you can just create a picture on the go on your phone? So the first thing you need to create this effect is you need an image where you have your iPhone screen like clearly visible and you've taken it from above so that the iPhone screen like is perfectly proportioned. Now I'm able to actually do this on Photoshop if my iPhone isn't perfectly proportioned. Let's say I'm photo I photographed it on the angle, but if you're gonna do this on the go on your phone, your picture needs to have be like straight on. So as you can see, I have a picture that I took the other day with my iPhone screen visible and I've got that set up. So that's one layer, that's what I'm calling the background layer. Now I've got the foreground layer I have to choose. And I just took a screenshot of my mobile um, YouTube, okay? So I've got YouTube on there. And what is great about this app is you can actually pinch and zoom using your fingers and move around the screen shot that we've got here. So actually what I'm going to do is pinch to make it smaller. And with two fingers, I'm actually also able to align it with the background of the image, right? So I'm gonna shrink this down and using two fingers, just like slow and steady, just to get as precision as possible. And I say not to worry if there's a little bit of black showing around the edge, because generally there is a little bit of black showing around on an iPhone screen. So I think that's pretty darn close. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty darn close, okay? So I've got both of the images layered on into one image now. And now what I can do is I can flatten it so it's one image. And I can export it. I can send it to Instagram if I wanted to. 
let's let's hit that and we can send to Instagram. It says open an Instagram. And I've got no internet connection right now, <laughs> but uh, because I turned off the internet connection on my phone. But if I wanted to, I could go ahead and add a filter um, to this. Not that I want to because the picture looked pretty awesome. Actually, that Juno filter looks pretty good. But I can add a filter or I can leave it normal. I can add my, my caption and all that stuff and I can share it, okay? So that is how you can use the app Union to take an image of an iPhone screen and a screenshot of your iPhone screen and marry them together on the go from your iPhone. And I love using these sorts of um, sorts of pictures with these over these overlap sorts of um, layered photos to promote different things because I because my business is online, it's digital, right? It's really hard for me to kind of show digital products. Um, and I always find that showing screenshots and things like that is a really great effective way to kind of talk about your brand in social media and promote yourself on social media. Okay, so that is how I record and replace my iPhone screen in videos and images for social media and YouTube. I hope that you guys learned something from this tutorial and it gave you an idea or some inspiration for how you can be using your iPhone and integrating it into your videos or integrating images of your iPhone screen for promotional ways into your social media images or your blog images and graphics and things like that. If you guys are curious to see how I use these sorts of techniques, feel free to make sure you're subscribed to this channel and check out some of my video tutorials. I'll leave a few down below for you guys to see um, just some different tutorials I've done where I've used these techniques. And also make sure you go check out my Instagram account at Miss Trenchcoat because I have a lot of images on there where I have replaced my iPhone screen with a graphic or with a screen grab um, in order to make the image look a little bit more polished and to convey my brand the best way I can to the internet. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video tutorial and you'd like to see more, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any things that you'd like me to show you a tutorial on. Um, I'd be more than happy to take your requests for these sorts of tutorials and help you guys because that's ultimately what I want to do at the end of the day. I want to make sure that I'm providing you guys some content and some information and answering your frequently asked questions um, the best way that I can. So please make sure to let me know what you guys would like to see my next tutorial um, on this channel be. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, you guys, Bye-bye. Hey, biz ladies. Looking for more resources, tips, and tricks to help you build your online business empire? Whether you're looking to earn extra income for your side hustle or go full-time with a sustainable creative business, I've got the tools to help. Sign up today for my free digital resource library, and I'll share my latest and greatest business building tools with you each month. Plus, you'll get access to my inner circle of amazing female entrepreneurs who are ready to take this journey with you. Visit bit.ly slash charmedbizdrl to get started today.